It's me. Hey, it's me, Fritchard. Now, I am no master of the Latin language, but there has to be some kind of link between the fact that Hydra, by itself, typically a mythical creature with multiple heads, sometimes living in the ocean like a Loch Ness monster, and hydration share the same, you know, sir, what is the technical term for this? Where there's a word within a word, prefix, something like that. There has to be some kind of Latin Anglo-Saxon type reason between the, the, the hydra and hydration. If any of you speak fluent Latin, uh, wow. I mean, it's the year 400 and you're using YouTube. I'm, you know, congratulations. Hold on. Do you see this man's booty? God damn. Yeah, I'm looking at, whoa, do not look at me with, with those eyes. You know, there's Caden Alonco. There's Garrus. There's even Captain Anderson. But my true love is right here. My my true love, his name is Galaxy Map. And we're going to open him up. So if you guys can recall from the last episode, Navigator Presley touched my butt. In. Oh, we did it! it through. Admiral Hackett here, Commander. Your helmsman just forwarded your report on Major Kyle. Yeah, I'm sorry, there was no I good option. civilian casualties, but I think we all knew how this was going to end. You did what you had to do. The news vans are going to pick up this story for sure, but we'll keep your name out of it, Shepard. Dude, being a specter is disgusting. Disgusting. On the day of my daughter's birthday, disgusting. Hey, excuse me, I, I got to check. I didn't even get anything from that. I didn't get any experience. So we, we don't. Hold on. So, I think we want to find Liara to Sony first. So, we gotta go to the Artemis Tau Cluster. Uh, hopefully, it's an easy mission, because otherwise it would be a Cluster F. Am I right, viewers? Am I right, Frit Fritchards? F am I right, my freaks? Gemini, Sigma, Hades, Gamma, Liara, Diggs... Is that... Wait, the Ar no, it is the Artemis Tau Cluster. See, I'm on it. Sparta, Athens, Macedon. Oh, these are all city-states. No. We, the Artemis Tau Car uh, Macedonia. Macedon sounds like a flipping dinosaur, I'm going to be honest to you. Don't at me if you agree. Don't at me if you disagree. Shaharlia. Patavig. Ah, uh, it's my favorite YouTube personality slash streamer of two best friends variety, Patavig. Ah, uh, and this is what happens when you play the King Poro mode in League of Legends. And you throw the Poro, it, it Poro lands. Survey. A strange signal determined that there was an ancient beacon and we got some writing. It's, it's just that easy, baby. Athens. It's gotta be one of these, right? Yeah, the Normandy... It's, it's not looking too good. I mean... It's, it's on fire? Cersei. Ah, we contracted Helium-3. We're gonna have to go to the doctor for that one. Proteus, the sun. Does every area have a sun? Oh, a large amount of free oxygen. Don't mind if I do. But do you have a large amount of free quests? No, it's definitely not Nosos. If I know the creators of Mass Effect, it's in the Sparta galaxy. Because Sparta has the coolest name and the coolest connotation attached to it. And then... Let's try to sight read. Let's figure out what is the coolest sounding place or the place most likely to have the quest we need. Right now I'm leaning towards either Edelus or Antomalka 
think it's Edelis. Commander, I'm picking up a signal from I... the planet's surface. It looks like an you automated know? distress beacon. Einstein, Gandhi, uh, Galileo, and then there's me, Richard. No, no, no. Do they level up in the background? Let me know in the comment section below. Yeah, where are we dropping, etc. Wow, there's a lot of actual meteors hitting the area. I probably should have read beforehand. I don't know if we're safe to leave the Caden Alanco. Okay, De Debris distress signal anomaly. Well, let's check out the Debris first. And try not to get hit by something that would actually murder the commander. Well, there's actually something over here. Whoa. What is... Hello? Is everything okay? Please tell me I could get in it. Nope. Alright, that's weird. I guess it's just for world world building. I respect it. If you want to build a world, you just put some sand, put some mountains, and put one ship in the middle of all of it. You get all the information you need without being force fed it. You don't need you don't need to see Luke Skywalker cutting open a Tauntaun and getting into it. You just need to see the Tauntaun remains and a bloody Luke Skywalker. You know, I'm going to be the first to admit it. I don't think this is the correct area, the correct planet, but we did get a distract sig distracts a distress signal. So, let's check it out. Check out these pentagons? Pentacles? Alright. Wow, it's a mushroom. Why do we have to hack everything in today's economy? Huh? Tell me that. Tell me why we gotta get Lithuania hacked. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Lithuania. Get freaking hacked! Oh, he just got hacked. It's my new catch line. Get freaking hacked. Oh, what? The FBI is knocking at my door. All right. Well, see you guys later. Cover me. Why? What do you want me to cover you in? And don't be gross. What is this? This is the most tactile, tactical advancement we would have ever had to do and we might have screwed it no oh, we were in there reddit squares we got some more uselessness you know i don't i don't think anything is all that useful we spent 25 omni gel to get four omni gel worth of worthfulness oh 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 controls are kind of odd so we want to go to the anomaly first because that's, you know, you do side missions first. That's the number one rule of RPG and RPG accessories. You do side missions and then you go to the main mission. Oh, it was a level five main mission. You're now level 500. Wow, that's a beautiful sunset. It's just good and blind. Crop circles. It's a sign. Let me know if you get that M. Night Shalomala Ding Dong reference. That's insensitive. You didn't choose his name. That name, it's got years of history behind it. What does my last name have? Hydra? I probably shouldn't have shot this Alliance Marine. Oh my! What in the world is that? He followed us from the other area. Hey guys, uh, I'm not the type of guy to be a conspiracy theorist, but this is 100% Solaire. I feel like we're gonna explode. Yeah, we're, we're repairing. We're, we're repairing. Hold on, I'm still repairing. There we go, boys. I feel like it might be 200 level for this one, but...
Now there is a little trick, and I'm not gonna abuse it. Oh my, that is so loud. But you can actually get out of the vehicle and finish them off, and if you do, you get extra experience. So uh, we're gonna do it once, see how much the difference is. You see what I'm talking about? That's no joke. Tree turdy. Tree turdy experience. Oh, they're all taking a snooze. That's why we had to come in here. No one was here to protect the the marine base because they're all freaking taking a nap. Alliance Marine. Dude, Solaire sent us their stress beacon. They're evolving. Also, let's level up. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm... Um, you, you know what I'm saying? We gotta start using Intimidate. I don't understand why you're trying to do both Charm and Intimidate. It just doesn't make much sense. Hey. I don't make much sense. I'm broke. Don't talk to me. Ever again. Advanced Carnage, level it up. Krogan Battlemaster, easiest level ups of all time. Gimme, give gimme, give ya, yeah, gimme, yeah, gimme, yeah. Mm, Admiral Cajone. He wants to know what happened here. Well, before we let Admiral Cajone know what happened to his cone men, we gotta head upwards and onwards to the destination site. Alpha Numera Deca. Funny story, I was actually taken to an air base, maybe not a base, but an area where they spoke, like when they would say A, it would be Alpha, B would be Beta, they spoke like that, like aliens. Uh, anyways, and there was a bunch of airplanes and stuff, and I was supposed to get trained to drive an air, ride, drive, pilot an airplane, and I stand by the decision. I did not want to because I did not want to crash the plane and kill me and my trainer. I think, you know, maybe not the most exciting decision, but a safe decision nonetheless. Just like I don't want to talk to this mummified Solarian because it's kind of creeping me out. But we're changed men now. What is this? Oh, it's the frog people that we have to hack into the mainframe for. Oh, that was that was exceptionally bad. Oh, don't even at me. Dude, our our Frogger game is real bad. How we ended up here is impossible to know for sure. I mean, you can kind of deduce that you probably like landed here in a vehicle similar to our vehicle. All right, well, that was pretty good. I like the the kind of uh, roguelike aspect of these these mini planets. In case you don't know what roguelike means, it's like a, a randomly generated type mini mission where you just go through it and it's just real quick, real quick and easy. Like, also, I guess that was it. I thought we were gonna call somebody up, let them know that their whole team is dead, but whatever, sounds good to me. While we're here, let's let's see exactly where we need to go. Missing Marines. Ah, Citadel Tower. All right. Well, I'm kind of busy here. Just don't wanna, you know, don't wanna step on any toes. But we are busy. The Uncharted Worlds of Artemis. Oh, we have to find her. Finders keepers, losers peepers. So we found some interesting stuff, but it was not Liara to Sony. So let's head down to Antamakla. Hydrogen. What do we use these things for? What do we use hydrogen, oxygen for? Water, I guess? You just make more water? It's not that easy, Frick Hydra. You don't just make water. Wow, I hate that my YouTuber isn't reading any of the. There's, there's so much to read. You want to tell me who read all the Skyrim books? I'll tell you how much plutonium we get. And Al Al Sages. No, no, Liana here, more like, is the name of the, 
the cluster. Dude, 100% are many. No, I actually meant like 100% but without the 1 and the 0. Nice, small territorial, territorial area, terrestrial area. Arcanes. It's like I'm speaking Spanish. Nitrogen. Nitrogen peroxide. Zachros. Oh, I knew a guy named Zachros. More or less. You just cut out the roast. Ah, here we go. Therum is a distant but rich industrial world claimed by Tassari Leona. Yes, please. Whoa! Banger alert! All right. Commander, I'm picking up some strange readings. Really strange, like off the damn charts. What are the charts that they always talk about? Complex, a few clicks away from the drop zone. And what is a click? Oh, you weren't a part of any clicks in high school? You weren't interesting enough? Um, yeah, but what? You hear that a lot. These readings are off the damn charts. What? What are you reading? Lolita? Because those that was removed from a lot of charts for being illegal. Or, or too... Too censored. It needed to be censored. Also, these don't look like it's possible to enter them. Oh my lord. We got ourselves a mission, boys. I actually do kind of remember this a little bit, maybe. I don't know, actually. Like I said, I played about an hour of Mass Effect 1. Maybe this was a part of the hour. Yeah, if you're a speedrunner. I take it entering the lava is probably not a good idea. And also talking about lava, let's quick save complete real quick. Save complete real quick. Save complete. Oh, what a beautiful sunset. Made of blue laser beams. It's going to actually phase me out of existence. You know, any money that's not even lava, it's just ketchup and then we're in a ketchup world any money at all I'd be willing to bet like zero dollars is any money but it wasn't very funny honey that's what my mom would say if she watched the videos you know I was expecting a lot more resistance here oh maybe we spoke too soon what is that you're going downtown. Bring it around town, boys. Ah, an amateur. Oh, that should be no problem at all. Hold on, just overheating real quick. Don't mind me. Should probably upgrade. And stop overheating. You gotta fire and burst. I told you that in the first episode. Alright, beautiful combat. This is the peak of Mass Effect combat. Oh no! Oh no! It's my JoJo, Joseph Joestar impersonation. Let's uh, let's heal up real quick. No, that's not at all what I meant to do. Excuse me, heal up. Heal. heal. Oh well. I guess we'll just die then. Fool that you are, for you do not. Or you believe in the chemicals in your brain to tell you that they are chemicals in your brain. This Only a fool punches a gnat back in the mouth. We should sneak around and pull its tail. Uh, if Rex is telling me not to fight head on, I think he's probably right. So let's let's actually go around town, bring it around town, and not get stuck in the rocks. All right, hold on. Driving with WASD, that's not what it's meant for. I'm gonna be honest. Oh, nice jungle gym. Mind me. Oh, dodge that one. Yeah, we're actually basically the greatest players of all time. The greatest age players. <laughs> we just can't drive. Hello? Anybody there? Can someone teach me how to 
not get stuck in every piece of land we come across? Oh, Juggernaut. Why are you doing shooting? Why aren't you running, Juggernaut? Hi, uh, yeah, I've watched X-Men. Pop, pop a bottle. Screw it. We don't need this. We have better things to do with our lives. Alright, maybe not. I'm, I'm actually not doing this for the experience. I just... I don't like the combat in the uh, vehicle that much. Even though this is some fat experience, I'm gonna be honest with you! Oh. You see that? He's like uh, the Halo, Halo 2 enemies. With the shields and the... Like... Kinda snipers, but not really snipers. That's the storm I'm talking about. We got Juggernaut, we got Storm, and I'm mother flipping Wolverine, bud. I've lost shields. Oh no. Please give me my shields back. Hold on. There's gonna be a little morsel, a little snack in here. I'm willing to bet. I'm willing to bet. Alright, maybe not. Dude, you need to work on your stamina. Don't stand in the containment cells, you weird man. Alright. Easy come, easy goes. We just stormed the breach and we made it out alive. Into the Breach, fantastic game by the creators of Into the Breach. I don't know if you've heard of that. They also created Into the Breach. I don't I think. I actually do think that's all they made, but don't add me. So he didn't want us to go straight ahead, and it wasn't because of the intrinsic danger, but it was because there's actually nothing here. It's just an empty wasteland called Fallout 4. Just kidding. I haven't played through it. It's not fair for me to say that. Best Frogger impersonation I've ever seen. Oh my! Excuse me. Thank you for letting me hack, but I got things to do. Things to do people to see. Tali, you need to heal, my friend. Or you can just get stuck on the land, so you know, no big deal. Alright, let's hop, 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 hop back in the, the, uh, the Kaden Alonko. You guys ever do that? Where you fake a stutter or something and then get actually stuck with the stutter? And then you actually now are stuck with it for the rest of your life. Did that ever happen to you guys? Like you cross your eyes and actually... No, you know, that was a myth, right? I mean, obviously it was a myth, but did you guys ever hear that myth? Oh, you can't you can't cross your eyes and dot your teeth. You're gonna get stuck like that, you idiot. Dumb kid. Who's a dumb kid now, mom? Yeah, I can only see out of one of my eyes. So what? Excuse me, where where are we? I'm not trying to be spastic sporadic. I just why I didn't remember there being two gates here. But if there are two gates, that means there's two ways to open them, and it's not here. Maybe opening one gate closes the other gate. I think that would be probably fair. But I don't know if they've unlocked the technology in the year 2080. Something I'm excited to see is when we actually get to... Oh, Red Boy. Oh my god, his noise. I don't know what it was about that noise. It scared the crap out of me. When we actually get to the year that this game takes place in, and just seeing that instead of having... You know, death and aliens and the ability to travel at hyperspeed. We just have the iPhone 4. Like, 4SS. It'd be interesting to say at least. Maybe a little depressing. Or, honestly, maybe a little uh, opposite of depressing? Oppressing? No, of course not. That's not, that's not the difference. What are you getting shot? Oh, we made an error. A lapse in judgment. We were not stuck in there with them. They were stuck in here with us. Oh, opposite. That noise is fantastic, by the way. The little tippy taps when you get overheated. I'll show you guys in a sec. Oh my! 
Yeah, that wasn't... That was... That wasn't the noise I was talking about. Presume last save. Oh, that's very bad. Please tell me to auto save. Alright, well, uh... Yeah, so anyways... You know what, let me show you guys what I was talking about. When you overheat, you get little tippy taps. I love it. That noise, if it could be my ringtone, I would never pick up a call because it is far too soft of a noise. Also, I know we leveled up and such and got like actually the most experience anybody's ever gotten in a video game, but let's just run these boys over. Because I'm not trying to die in one shot again. Crack a bottle, let your body wobble when you get shot by a rocket blaster. You just hit the lotto. That song by Eminem, and I believe maybe Nate Dog. Crack a bottle, let your body waddle, don't act like a... I thought it, it is sloppy model, but I thought it was Zabi Maru, and I was like, oh, Eminem is a, is a fan. He's a fan, he's a stan of Renji Aburai of the Bleach variety. T tell me it does not sound like Zabi Maru. And then if you tell me it does not, I will happily probably agree with you because I doubt that was at all the intention of one of the greatest wordsmiths to ever grace Michigan anyways let's progress uh yeah I said one of the greatest wordsmiths to touch Michigan the other one Daniel Giesing Only acquiesced classic back in the mouth we should sneak around and pull its tail we've also made it past this area a lot faster than before because we actually learned how to drive. Starring Ryle Gosling. Ryle Gosling! Yep, you heard it here first. Oh, you like uh, Ryan Reynolds? You like Deadpool? What about Del Delpool and Ryle? Ryle Gosling? Yeah, we are definitely getting a lot less experience, but I think this is intentional. The intended way of play is to miss me with that rocket ship. Uh, rocket ship? You mean? Whoa! Excuse me. Where's my team? I don't know why I asked that. We're we're in the we're in the Kaden and Alonco together. And the thing is, first off, that's why they they put one man in here instead of many men, many men wish death on me. Because it's like a little test. It's like oh, you can run over people, but. You can you take on one man alone? Easiest uh, override of my life. Radioactive round three. You know we're in there like a bread square. Cool down. That's not what I, I want. Chemical rounds. All right. Well, whatever then. Get out of my face. Big disgrace. Waving your fifty-one percent rated movie all over my face yeah that's a freaking bohemian rhapsody reference hold on, hold on. we're five point turn the classic you know how many people actually probably five point turn in their their test uh, not me streamer I actually two point turned yep I, I did it two point turn I joke, but is two point turning a thing? Basically, a, I'm trying to actually internalize this. A two point turn. If you're if you parked, you turn left, and then you would <laughs> you would basically just turn. You'd back up and then never drive forward again. That's a two point turn. You just drive in reverse from now on. Might be the dumbest thing I've ever said, or the smartest thing I've ever said. Typically, how it goes with geniuses. Liberator 2. Oh, it's much worse than what we have. But man, is it hot as heck. Yeah, sorry, Liberator 2. We gotta use what we got. You think camo actually works? You know, if I was in charge of the military, 
I would have every movie, every media property that references the army have like bright orange outfits on in the movies. And then, oh, we gotta get in the vehicle! And then when we actually go to war, have them with like dark brown, dark green. So they go in being like, wow, this army is the easiest army to defeat ever. They just wear bright orange. When in fact, we would be wearing hard to see things. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. So you give me a 50-50 shot where to go. Obviously, I'm going to go to the place that's more well defended. Where, where would you put all your goods? In a, in a safe or out in the open? Come on, be honest with me. Unless this is the place we came from. Yes, it it looks it looks like the hold on. It looks like the place we came from, but how is that possible? Because there was things there was things blocking it on the way back, but not on the way there. I'm actually kind of confused. And alarmed. If you're here for some Albert Einstein esque brainstorming, then you've come to the wrong place. Much smarter than Albert Einstein. Don't quote me on that. Oh, I see now. So that's where we went before. Then we just looped around back again. Oop, there goes gravity, etc. And then we, we go this way. Maybe no. You go this way. What is that way, though? You know, your boy's got that itch. She's got to explore. It's uh, supply and demand, you know what they say. Supplying demand is supplying the man. Not in a, like, societal ecology level between men and women, but just, like, the man as in the government. You gotta supply the man with supply and demand. Talking about supply and demand, looks like we're gonna have to swim through the ketchup. And if we have someone who's a faster swimmer than us, we're gonna have to tell them, hold on, I need to catch up. Yep, that's the, that's the kind of stuff you expect from, from Frick Hydra. Come to know and love. Ash ketchup. I'm gonna be honest, the, the amateur joke, classic. Ketchup one, maybe didn't stick as well. Excuse me, I aimed at this man and it shot the rock. Like, someone please check up on the rock. I shot him. Don't, don't call, I didn't, I didn't shoot the rock. If the rock dies, I'm going to jail. Even though it'd be a 100% coincidence. You want to know the first movie I've ever seen The Rock in? It was him parenting a little girl. In like one of those slice of life movies. And I, I genuinely do not remember the synopsis other than him just being a parent. Like him being a rich parent. I don't know how that movie made it into Hollywood. Because the premise is, is it's literally just... Alright, The Rock has a daughter. That is the movie. I'm getting nervous. I'm gonna be honest. I'm getting nervous. The bar in the bottom left is completely. Yeah. See, we're we're hit. We need to heal. Hide and heal. There we go. Okay, we did. It only took 15, dude. Only took 15 army gels. When at most you can carry a max of four. Gosh. Wow. This guy. Promote him. When he revives, promote him. Because he just ran at the Caden Alonco version 2.0 with his bare fists. Oh, lord. No, please do not kill me. Please. Please do not kill me. Oh, we're, we're, we're dead. No, please stop. We leveled up. Please give me the full heal. Just run him over! Run him over! Oh! What is this? It's a Trojan horse! 
Yeah, knock him down. Ragdoll physics are still enabled in the year 2400. This is this is the gameplay that you know and love. Are we even hitting him? All right, get out. What is happening? Uh, four. I don't think it worked. There we go. He is broken. Yeah, use use all your buttons. All right, we. I think we broke him. We broke the Trojan horse. They should have hired me back in the 500s to. So let's heal up. Hired me in the 400s when the Trojans came with the Trojan horse and said, "Hey, I know we were just at war, but here's this thing to prove that we are loyal." You think that actually happened? I, I'm a. I like history. I'm definitely not like a history buff though. Do you genuinely think the Trojan horse thing happened? Because it seems a little far-fetched. And I ain't talking about the Pokemon. Uh, well, I, I guess I kind of am talking about the Pokemon. This dude, this reminds me of Halo 3. The last mission when you're going, you're going through a tunnel like this. There's a bunch of um, the, the hive, the swarm, something like that. And, and the area is exploding behind you. No doubt, Mass Effect or Halo were inspired by each other. Probably, I would say Mass Effect was inspired by Halo first. And then the later Halos were inspired by the Mass Effects a little bit, but I could be completely, completely wrong about all of this. I don't know, I think it's inspired, being inspired by things, it's, it's not like a, a negative association to it in my opinion. That's how things improve, right? If someone created a movie, or like, Until Dawn, and I was like, alright, that's it, you cannot create any more cinematic experiences. In 40 years, it'd be the most boring game of all time. People would be like, oh yeah, we know exactly what happens, and graphics are, you know, they're, they're, they don't hold up because it's 40 years in the future, and we actually have a way of teleporting people into video games. Don't quote me on that. No, you know what? Call me on that. 40 years from now? Mom, I'm sick of school. Can I just go to the VR realm? No, because I'm in the VR realm. And... Oh, no! And in the VR realm, we get stuck. Oh, we're jammed. I suppose that means we got a securing point, as uh, or not Rex says. Hold on. Talk about a three-point parking job, you know what I'm saying? Alright. Dude, this music bangs as heck. You got Red Dead Redemption 2, and then you get Mass Effect 2. Tell me which one's better. Answer. Open your eyes. This is exactly what I came to see. Heal up. Tally, you're not looking so good. I healed Tally for like five! Alright, hold- No, 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 no! Give me shield boost. Give me everything you've got. Hide. Where the heck is my squad? No, seriously. Did they get stuck? Slow and steady. Slow and steady. Slow and steady, boys. We need to use this as cover. Oh, I didn't know Frick Hydra played Call of Duty with his camping. Give me a heal, please. Give me a heal, give me an A. What does that say? Heal, heal up? Okay, we're good. We're good to go. Load it up. Give me three, two, one, boys. 
Easiest pie. We ain't overloaded no more. Onwards and upwards. Where's melee? I've lost shields. Bada bing, bada boom. That's what we say up in uh, Italy. We say I'm walking here and bada bing, bada boom. All right. Well, that was easy. We get two birds stoned at once. We killed every single member of the enemy shield. fleet. And we are also going to fire the shit out of Rex and Tali because they actually abandoned their ship and their commander. What's the melee button? Get out of my face. Don't come home crying to mama. Frick Hydra, you're such a jokester. Yeah, well, this isn't a freaking joke. I actually want my soldiers back. <gasps> Am I the smartest man of all time? I just teleported these men. Look! It's Spider-Man! Uh, they're pooping! They're pooping, guys! Guys, they're pooping! I think we haven't dealt with Colossus before there, but... Oh, I don't... I do. What?! We, uh... When was the last time we cook safe? Alright, well that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, next episode, we're going to remember to quick save. Thanks for watching. And that's it.